Hello everybody, I am going to explain how to be able to export from a WRL file from ZBrush. So you may wonder, what is that if you're not familiar with that? But that's kind of like the standard for most color printers. And if you're doing this in production and you need to turn around and you need to be able to produce um, an OBJ for your customer to view whatever you're edited. So if you're using a handheld scanner, you're using just about anything, you're going to need to know how to turn it back in to an exportable OBJ object. You're going to need you're going to need Maya to do this. Um, 3D Studio Max can do it as well, but I prefer doing this in Maya. So I'm going to show how to be able to convert it back into an object file. So here's the file that I've been showing everybody so far, which I've edited. Uh, this is me and my son. We've repaired this file. So, and I've exported it as a WRL. So I have a WRL file for it. The only thing that I would like to have for it would be turn it back into an OBJ file. So if you wanted to give it to a customer, you wanted to put it in a video game, or you wanted to give it to somebody to make it the most easiest way to view it, the WRL is not the easiest way to view it. So if you're looking at this and you can see, here's the original file. So you guys can see it here. I'll load it up. This is WRL. And most people can only view the object files. You know, you can tell people to download Mesh Lab and view it, but they're so used to viewing just an object file, so that's the format that they want to do it in. But most people cannot. So, I mean, this is great for 3D printing, but you're not going to be able to use it in just about anything else. You're kind of a hit and miss at this point, anyways, with it. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn it back into an object file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside of back inside of ZBrush again, and what I want to do is I want to export by using the 3D print utility because this is a disseminated mesh. I want to go to the plugin, and I want to come all the way down here where I want to export the options. I want to open up the advanced options, and what I want to do is I want to come down here and I want to select a PNG to export it and I want to just export just an OBJ of it. Now it may give me some weird results with it, but it's all I'm really interested in is that OBJ model. Now, I noticed that the WRL model had an error in it. Now, there's sometimes associated with grouping um, polys together, which causes that error, so we're going to see if it's going to give me that issue. So it'll be kind of a good on-the-fly experience for you to see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and export an OBJ, and I'm going to create a folder here to put this in as my export. Um, this part, whoops, that part, this part is not necessary. I just like organizing it into a folder so I know where it's going. And I'm going to say, put a dash, no UV. Whoops. All right, let's export. And it did. And let's go back into the program here. Let's take a look at it under export. And see, it didn't put a texture with it, but it did open up the model. Let's just open it up and see what it looks like inside Mesh Lab. Um, it gave me an error that it can't open up the texture. That's okay. Yeah, so there's no UV. So that definitely exported it into a format in OBJ, but now we need to map the UVs because we have nothing on it. it you want to see color with it. So we're going to go back inside. Actually, we're going to open up Maya. All right, and I'm using version 2012 of this and what I want to do is I want to import my object and I want to go to I'm sorry let me go back through that again so I want to go to file import and I want to be able to locate where that file is it's on my desktop under my ZBrush folder and then I put it in my export ZBrush exporting which is right here tutorial nope that's not the one I want Yeah, I was pretty sure I did that. You know what? It's what it's doing is it's not refreshing. For Maya, hang on a sec. Fire down Maya. Yeah, because it's on your ZBrush printing. I'm gonna bring up Maya again. Waiting for it to fire up again. Oh, huh, there we go. Let's go to File, Import, and it's already selected as OBJ. So I'm going to go ahead and go to that ZBrush Tutorial folder. And I still cannot, is it under Tutorial or under Printing? I cannot see the folder for some strange reason. There it is. 
So it was under ZBrush printing, export, and then here's the one with OBJ with no UVs. So I'm going to import it. And I did. I actually got that error with it. So we gotta do, what is the problem with it? It says that active zero disabled. Namespace. It's legal characters trying to cage. All right, so we got to go through the process of repairing that. So there's two ways to do it. So I can repair it from inside of um, Mesh Lab, or I can repair it inside of a ZBrush. The ZBrush is going to be a little bit more harder process to repair it. You need to figure out what is wrong with the mesh itself, and is there anything that's not grouped together, which is also the problem. So the process starts with, <coughs> excuse me. You have to re -dana mesh it. So let's see. So I'm going to do control, drag down, and it's going to re -dana mesh it. And watch the poly count's going to go back up again. And this is just to fix that export error that it had. All right, we're re -dana mesh. It's about 620 polygons. It's back up in this range. So just hold down Shift and F. And do I see anything else that's in there? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just group the polys together just to make sure by clicking on poly groups and then do auto group just to make sure it didn't change any groups that's inside of it. And let's take a look. Everything looks good so far. All right, let's go back and let's disseminate the mesh again. So let's go to dissemination master and then pre-process it. I'm going to go ahead and drop down the polygon. Let's see, it looks like it's about the same as it was before, so I should be able to disseminate. It's at 38%, so I should be able to get down about right where I was before. And I did. It looks like there's one less, or a few less polygons. All right, let's go back again, and let's go back to the 3D print exporter under plugin and go back to it again and what I want to try is to export. I want to export selected this time instead of trying invisible. I want to export just selected only. So let's export and I'm going to give it the same name and I'll say version 2. Let's go back there. Let's open it up. See if it gives me any air inside mesh lab. See, I got no error right off the bat. So the other one definitely had an error. If you open up the other one, it says that it's got a UV problem, but it probably is also saying it had that problem with the mesh. Um, believe me, I don't understand why ZBrush does that, but this is a solution to repair it. Open it back up. Just to confirm it one more time. Boom, no error. So I'm going to have no error importing it back into Maya. So let's go back into Maya. And our goal here is, is we need to be able to produce some UVs on it. So Maya is going to help us UV map the model. And obviously, as you can tell, it works fine. There's no issues with it. I'm going to go ahead and select all of the model. And what I'm going to do is you have this icon right here. So you want to go under poly, polygons. And you want to select this one right here where it's texturize it. So it's an automated projection texturizer for the whole model. You click on that, and what it does is it's going to build a mask or it's going to build a texture around it. So it does take a few minutes to do it. It depends on how complex your model is and how many points are in it on how long this process will take. Um, I'll leave it in real time here if it doesn't take too much longer. Otherwise, I'm going to pause it if it does, and then I'll show you the result. Give it about. 10 more seconds. It hasn't done it by now. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. So when it's done, I'll come back. Okay, that wasn't too long. It was only about two minutes. So I didn't. Th I thought it was going to take a little bit longer, but no. But you'll notice how you can see everything pretty much in the, in the display here. So you can see how everything is shown up and on. you see the textures on each on all four sides of it. 
So what I'm going to do, uh, I pressed frame, so it's taken a little bit to process that. All right, waiting for it again. Maybe I might need to pause it. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Export Selection. It's currently what I'm selected as. Let me keep this organized and go back into my original folder here. Um, I believe it was under Tutorial, 3D Printing, and then Export. And then I'm going to give it roughly the same name, but I'm going to say Good, just to say, so it'll say Model 2, I'm going to say UVs. Get rid of the no. The UVs. Good. All right, let's export it. Huh, it's done. Let's go back to our ZBrush, and what we're going to do now, this is kind of depends on you. If you've already saved the project, which I have already done, and if you forget that process, it's Control S. Save the project before you do this so in case something happens, it just totally screws up. You don't screw up your whole editing, your models, everything. Save it. Save your project. Okay? All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import that UV map right over the top of this one again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down over here on the right-hand toolbar, and I'm going to go to Import, and I'm going to import the one that says UVs good. Excuse me. Well, let's import it. Well, I think there's a bug here that I just had to deal with as well. So you know what? This exporting of this process, it may not work correctly. So what it is, is it's only showing up. I believe it's showing up. Yeah, it is showing it up. But I got a feeling this is going to have a problem with it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to go with it. Let you guys see the actual problem here. So it, I think it's a scaling issue between going to the 3D printer export what I needed to do is actually export it over here, but I'm going to try this so that you can see it. But you know how I know that it's doing it? If you notice, look how big the cursor is on here. It's humongous. And that usually spells disaster when I'm going to do it. So what it is is you have to use the undisseminated model to export. And I didn't do that. So I'm going to try it and see what it does, see if it'll let me do it. So what I want to do now, since I have a UVs on it, it's detected that it has UVs in it, so I can look at the UV map, and you see how I have this little button that I can actually click it and do it, but I know that the textures for these models are always 4096 by 4096. Yours could be different, but I happen to know that this one is. So I'm going to click on the 4000 by 4096 to make sure that the texture map was created that way. Then what I want to do is I want to move down here to go to texture mapping. Oops, close this one out texture map and I want to click on the create tab and I want to do new from poly paint and let's see if we can get it to work um, it did make the texture this is a good sign here I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to but we're gonna see we're gonna give it a shot alright so what I'm gonna do again now is I'm gonna go since now I have this texture I'm gonna go ahead and click the plugin and now I'm gonna export OBJ and I want to make sure that the PNG is what's set which is good and I'm going to say selected and then OBJ and then let's do it let's do a different name for it so let's say exported YouTube and let's go ahead and save it Let's go back down here. So it says, which one is it right here? Exported YouTube. So I see three files here. I see the material map. I see the object. And I see the texture map. Let's see if it works. That's always the cool thing is to always fight through a problem. Let everybody see what you're doing so that you can see how to troubleshoot something like that. And here we have the result. It's working. I now have an object file, and let's see how many polygons are in this one. Um, it says 485,000 polygons, roughly. 
and verts are 242,000. Now you could reduce this into a smaller format if you wanted. If I go to try to disseminate it, I believe that the UVs are going to not be good on it and you'll have to go back and redo the UV process again. So there you go. You now have a way to be able to turn the object back into an OBJ object, fully disseminate it so that you don't have to worry about you know the size and you can actually so I've actually repaired the model, done things, and, and what I'm going to do later on is I'm going to show you how to be able to replace feet. Feet are like the worst scan area on most scanners. I'm going to show you how to be able to replace the foot. Say, for example, the right foot is better, then the left foot needs to be replaced. I'm going to show you how to mirror that right foot and then plug it back on on the left side so you can repair the foot altogether. So please subscribe. Let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts about the tutorial. And thank you for joining me again today. Wonderful experience being here with you teaching you. Thank you again. Have a good day.